So today I'm going to show you how to recover your files if you accidentally deleted something off an SD card, a USB drive, or somewhere on your computer. Oh, and before we get started, I just want to mention that this is going to be a completely free way to recover your files. The reason I say that is because there's a lot of software out there that can recover your files. And there's probably some better versions than the one I'm going to show in this video. But the difference is, is that their software is going to be free up until a certain number of megabytes, meaning that you have to pay real money in order to recover more than 500 megabytes. So if you're sitting here, like I did a couple of days ago, and you had maybe like 65 gigabytes that you needed to recover, then this will be free. So now just to explain why you might be able to recover your files and why you may not be able to recover your files. Essentially what happens is that if you have a USB drive or an SD card, or maybe you saved something on your computer somewhere and you deleted it and you permanently deleted it, meaning that as you can see in front of me here, I have a USB drive and I have a video file. If we were to highlight it, delete it completely. So I delete it and it's going to go into my trash bin like so. I'm going to go into my trash bin just to double check. Just gonna go ahead and erase everything. I'm also going to pull out my USB drive. I'm gonna put it back in. And once that has happened, I should not be able to recover my file again. It is gone, right? So here's the thing, the longer you wait, and if you were to put other files on the USB drive, it is going to be harder to recover your file. Because the way that deleting files works is that when you delete a file like I just did, you don't actually at a technical level delete your files. Your file seems deleted, but what is actually happening is that your computer is saying, okay, all these files on the USB drive, the next time you put a new file in here, it's just going to overwrite those files. So your file is still on here, but you just can't see it. And it doesn't actually get permanently lost until another file replaces it. So if you're in a situation where you deleted your file and you put a bunch of other files in there, then chances are you're not gonna recover it. But right now, since I haven't actually moved anything in here, I should have a pretty good chance of getting my files back again. So the program that I'm going to be using is something called Recover. I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link for you to download it in the description. And once you installed it and open it for the first time, you're most likely going to get a small introductory screen called The Wizard. And this screen is going to help guide you through what kind of files you're going to be recovering. Now, because I already have opened this software before and I told it that I don't want to see this, intro screen every time I open up my software, I'll show you how to get it back up in case you did the same thing as me. So I'm going to open my program and once I open it up, it's going to look like this. If you need to see the introductory screen, go to options and click run wizard, wizard, a little bit of accent. And the next thing you'll see is that we do have this introductory screen. So in here, I can go ahead and say next. Then I want to tell it what kind of file I'm trying to recover. If you're trying to recover multiple files, just say all files. In my specific case, I want to recover a video file. So I'm going to check off video. I click next. On the next screen, you're going to tell it where you have your file that you need to recover. In my case, I have it on a USB drive, which means that I have it on a media card. But if you're not entirely sure where your thing is located, uh, you can just go and check I'm not sure and then locate it afterwards. You should also note that if you were to pick I'm not sure, it's going to scan through your computer for different locations. So it will take a bit longer for it to get to the next step than if I were to just go down here and say on my media card. So now that I told it where I want to recover my file from, I'm just going to say next. And then on the next step here, you have an option. You can enable something called deep scan. And that's something I only recommend if it didn't really work when you try to do it the normal way. So deep scan is going to take a little bit longer, but it might do it for you if it failed the first time. So enable this the second time if the first time it doesn't work. I'm just gonna go ahead and not have it checked off and I'm gonna say start. And then it's going to tell me, oh, well, we found a USB drive on your E drive location. And as you can see here, it has, you know, some different files in here. These are all the different files that I've had on my USB drive. The latest one that I just deleted is the one called my video file. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to switch to advanced mode. And in here, there's a couple of things you need to talk about. Depending on the icon that you see out here, it may or may not be recoverable. If I were to actually go and, and pick one of them, go to info, you can see that it says state unrecoverable, which means that red, it just can't recover it. Uh, if it's yellow, it means that it might be recoverable. It's in a poor state, but it might be able to do it. And green means that it can recover it. 
if needed. Um, but it's not as simple as that though, because if I were to pick one of these, uh, you can actually see that my video file, the one I just deleted, is actually red. Um, but that's because I changed the name from MVI3853 to my video file right before making this tutorial here. So this is actually the original name for the file. So I could try this one out because it's green. Like I said, depending on how you got rid of your file, this may or may not work. But what I'll do here in this case is I'll go ahead and just tick off the green one here and I'll go ahead and say recover. Then I'm going to select the location that I want to recover the file on. I'm just going to select one that I have picked out here. So I'll just say, I just tell it to put it on my desktop for now. So I'll say, okay. And then it's going to recover the file. Now, again, this may take a little while depending on how big your file is. In my case, it wasn't very big. I think it was about three gigabytes. But a couple of days ago, I recovered a file that was 64 gigabytes and it took about 27 minutes. And there we go. Once it's done recovering, it will pop up with a, do you wanna buy the full version of this software, which is going to give you a few more features, but it's not something we need right now. So now that we recovered the file, we can actually check if it actually works. And this is the moment of truth, because depending on how badly your file has been corrupted, you know, if you waited too long, because in some cases your computer might actually go and, and fill in junk files into your USB drive or something, if you wait or do something else on your computer while it's plugged in. So like I said, this isn't always a sure thing. It's something that you have to try out and if it doesn't work. In my case here though, I can go ahead and double check the file. If I and double click it, you can see that in my case, we can, we can do it in this works right? we can use and I have my file back. If I play it through just to double check, this is working all the way and it doesn't seem like I lost anything. Now, if this doesn't work for you and it does get corrupted or something, of course you can always try out one of the other paid versions of recovery files. I will go ahead and leave a link for a couple of alternatives in the description, but like I said, they are free up until let's say like 500 megabytes. So if you're trying to recover a large video file, then they may be better for it, but you'll also have to pay for it. And I can't guarantee that those will actually recover your file um, because like I said, they get corrupted over time. And just because it's a better software, it doesn't mean that it can recover a file that has been corrupted. If you finish this process and it recovered, but it doesn't actually work and you try to open your video file and it says that it might be corrupted or something, um, I can't help you beyond that point because I'm no software IT tech expert that can go in and says, okay, this is what you need to do. You know, if it's corrupted, then you can do these sort of really technical things to maybe recover it. I'm probably going to get a lot of comments from people telling me that, oh, I tried to do it and it doesn't work. What do I do now? I don't know, but this is something that will work sometimes and you just got to pray that it didn't become corrupted enough for you to not be able to recover it so best of luck to you when you try to recover and i hope you enjoyed this video